Hey guys, welcome back to Burst TV. My name is Chris Michelle. I am a registered dental hygienist and a senior birth ambassador. And as dental professionals, it is our responsibility to promote preventative dentistry. So that could mean, it could range from teaching our patients how to keep their teeth clean, how to maintain healthy gums, and also how to prevent from cavities. We often recommend products that are easily accessible so that way our patients can get the best oral care at home. And based on scientific research, we know and can trust that these particular products that we recommend have the right ingredients that are going to be effective. However, there are some patients and even dental clinicians themselves that may want to go the holistic path and do their own type of research and find, you know, scientific or non-scientific research on certain ingredients that may be beneficial to them. And so today, we're going to brush our teeth with eggshells. So if you're curious like me, then stay tuned and keep on watching. First things first, I love eggs, okay? I can eat eggs all day. I think this is an amazing source of protein. However, this is new to me that people are using eggshells in different ways to promote good health. Uh, you, that's probably why you've seen people use eggshells in plants or grind up eggshells in their smoothies or different types of food to get whatever, you know, essential minerals and whatever health benefits they can get from the eggshells. Today we're going to use these eggshells to make toothpaste. Yes, you heard right. We're going to be making eggshell toothpaste. So reasons why people like to use eggshells for their toothpaste is one it has a great source of calcium and it also contains different types of minerals such as magnesium phosphorus silicon iron all types of different things and also because it is high in protein it has amino acids also one thing i did find interesting is that eggshells because it has all these amazing um, minerals it can lower the pH in the acidity of the mouth. So that's where they're getting the prevention of cavities. That's where they're saying that it also can remineralize the enamel. My hypothesis on this whole eggshell toothpaste experiment is, yes, it's eggshells. They're gonna be pretty abrasive. So I have, I'm pretty certain that this will take off my plaque. Will it be something I will do in the future? I don't know, but we're gonna try it out and um, make the eggshell toothpaste and actually brush my teeth with it. What I like about DIY projects like this is that it's cheap and most of the products you already have, so which is a reason why people make this eggshell toothpaste. So for the recipe, you're gonna need your eggshells, of course, some baking soda, and some coconut oil. You, you can literally buy this anywhere, it's nothing special. Um, and then also some essential oils, because you want that fresh breath, okay? When you think of toothpaste, you think of mint, you know, some type of mint, spearmint, whatever. I had peppermint oil already, so I'm gonna be using peppermint oil. So they say, you, in order to get, I guess, the most benefits from the toothpaste, you wanna make sure that your eggs are cage-free or organic. So I spent the extra bucks <laughs> to get some organic eggs. Um, Cause I don't have chickens myself, so I had to go get some, some special eggs for this experiment and you're gonna boil them because they say that boiling them will rid will rid of all the pathogens or kill all the pathogens in the eggs so that's what we're gonna do next I'm boiling my water in the pot as we speak and boil these eggshells 
so my water is boiling right now. Um, it didn't say how long to boil, but I'm just gonna boil for a good like 10 minutes. I already rinsed it out. Oops. I'm gonna go ahead and let that, let that boil, let the steam, the heat. And then after you boil your eggshells, you want to have them dry, let them kind of air dry, and then we will grind them up. So since we're waiting for the water to boil, this is gonna be a great time to go ahead and like this video, subscribe to Verse TV channel, and stay tuned because we have some amazing new videos coming every week. Our videos are created by dental professionals. So you're gonna see dentists, you're gonna see dental hygienists, assistants, all types of people from across the nation sharing dental related topics, um, things that you may already know or things you may not know. So always stay tuned, always stay notified, and always stay up to date on the latest first TV videos. Now back to the stove. My eggs are done. Basically, you want to boil your eggs until the eggshells are stiffer, a little bit hard. Oops. And I'm just gonna let them air dry. What? Oh, there goes one eggshell. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop touching it. Okay. So this recipe calls for one fourth cup of grounded eggshells. I'm hoping that I'm able to get up to a fourth cup, but if not, I'm just gonna kinda eye it. So, and then it also has the baking soda and the coconut oil. I'm actually not surprised to see in this recipe because these are actually two common household products that you can use for, you know, for cleaning your teeth and Coconut oil has some really interesting benefits, and then of course baking soda is great for cleaning purposes. So I went ahead and mixed in my baking soda and the coconut oil. Mix it in really good. I'm still kind of smashing it into my little mixture so I get the eggshells more grounded. And then I added the peppermint oil. So the peppermint oil, does does make the mixture smell a lot better. It does look very toothpaste-like, or the consistency is kind of not too bad. It's starting to look like a very toothpaste consistency. All right, this is what you all been waiting for. I have my eggshell toothpaste mixture here, and I'm going to brush one side with the manual toothbrush so I can really just feel the eggshells and then I'm gonna brush the other side with my burst toothbrush. I made sure I didn't brush my teeth so my teeth feel kind of gritty from whatever I ate today. Okay, here we go. Oh God. <laughs> okay. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. So <laughs> that was pretty, in my opinion, no, no, not doing this again. <laughs> I used the manual and I used the Burst Sonic toothbrush because I just wanted to see how it feels with, you know, different methods of brushing and it was both awful. <laughs> 
It was just awful. I'm going to go, I'm just gonna stick with my normal toothpaste and brush that way. That's just what works for me. I don't mind that. I don't really care to make my own. If you were to do this particular recipe, I would definitely grind your eggshells super, super, super finely um, because I think that's what it was. I just couldn't get past the the abrasiveness of the eggshells because I knew it was going to be really gritty. <laughs> um, and then also the taste of the baking soda that kind of threw me off a little bit. I thought maybe the coconut oil and the peppermint would help kind of offset the eggshells and the baking soda, but it didn't for me. So <sighs> glad I tried it to know that I will probably never ever use it in the future. So pros to this particular recipe, one, it's cost effective, it's cheap, it's Probably, you know, ingredients you've already have in your pantry or in your fridge. Cons, it may not taste like the other toothpaste you would buy at the store because other toothpaste, they have different ingredients, sometimes artificial flavoring to make it taste really good. Um, and it's convenient, you know, it's already in a tube. This, you have to obviously put it in a jar or some type of airtight sealed container to keep it fresh and you know long lasting if you guys have tried something like this or have your own homemade toothpaste let us know in the comments below until then thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more burst tv